After days of being accused of giving mixed messages, the Prime Minister now says that face coverings should be worn in shops in England to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. And the government is expected to decide within hours uh, that the policy should in fact be mandatory. Only yesterday, the Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove was saying that it was best to rely on people's common sense. Labour has accused ministers of contradicting themselves and of confusing the public. Face coverings are already compulsory in shops and schools. Um, so according to Environmental Science and Technology Journal, they recently reported that it's about 194 billion disposable face masks and gloves that are being used every month worldwide. And signs of this pollution is already being observed um, by divers across the world. So I think it's gonna get um, a lot worse. I think we're just starting to see it now. Um, you know, seeing fast masks everywhere on the, like, even if you just walk through the city centre, I'm sure you'll see face masks and gloves everywhere. In terms of masks in particular, the best data really that we have on it at the moment is, is from the litter counts that took place over the summer. And for this country, uh, the Marine Conservation Society have recorded that about 30% of the beaches that they cleaned had some form of, of, of pandemic PPE as part of what they were picking up. Um, you know, the rise in littering that happened very early on in the pandemic when people would wear single use masks and just leave them on the ground and this kind of thing. Um, and people not know how to dispose of them. And I think the information around like self-isolation and how to deal with your rubbish was like kind of mentioned, but never about like how to dispose of single use masks in the same um, level of detail, I think. In general, more guidance should have been given because people just don't know what to do. And when they don't know what to do, they'll just do what they want to do, which isn't safe. We can see that plastics are a, are a big problem in the environment already. Um, our research at Lincoln has looked at microplastics in particular, and we have looked at, um, we've seen that in the local rivers around Lincoln, there's, there's large amounts of microplastics. And our expectation would be that that we would see um, different forms of plastics as they come online moving into into watercourses and other parts of the environment. I think similarly to any sort of single-use plastic, the big, biggest issue is the physical harm, um, so it can cause problems of entanglement and especially being mistaken for food. The problem is that it starts degrading down and this uh, fragments into smaller and smaller particles. What we don't know is the chemicals that are found within the plastic of how they leach out and what other toxic effects they could uh, cause onto the physical being. A poorly disposed of um, mask is something that, that actually probably carries a health risk because on that mask you have got uh, the viral load um, and you wouldn't go and pick up somebody else's tissue in the street and if you see a mask you can consider it exactly exactly the same. So there's a number of ways in which we can create uh, it, masks and plastic could create damage to the environment. I think in general we've got such a huge problem of growing plastic waste. If you look at the news you'll see how China and Malaysia is rejecting huge containers of plastic waste that's being sent from the UK and they're sending it back to us. Um, we just don't know how to manage it. We don't know where to put it. We don't know what to do with it. Um, the few types of plastic that are currently being recycled, is the recycling process is so slow and it is still dangerous and the plastics that are being recycled can only be recycled a few times before they do end up in, back in the landfill. Um, plastics in themselves are not a bad thing, but how we dispose of them, how we recycle them and how we use them are the critical things. But what we need to see is the development in plastics to the next generation to see how they can be managed, how that whole process from the creation of plastics through to the disposal of them can be better managed. The few types of plastic that are currently being recycled, it's the recycling process is so slow and it is still dangerous and the plastics that are being recycled can only be recycled a few times before they do end up in, back in the landfill. So I think we currently still don't have the right treatment and processes in place to tackle these issues and that's the biggest issue. 
Experts have found that not only are the coronavirus face masks clogging up storm drains and littered in the streets, but now they're finding that billions are floating around in the ocean. A marine conservation group has been tracking the number of face masks washing up on remote island shores like the island that's just south of